and Dick, and Dick, and Dick was chasing everything that moved in Scottsdale. This pea brain billionaire is Phoenix Suns owner Robert Sarver. The allegations are of uh, racism, hostile, hostile work environment with racism, racism misogynistic yeah. comments, sexist. Uh, yeah. Someone said he left his DNA. He did leave his DNA in Steve Nash's sock somewhere in the locker room. While the NBA has cited an ongoing investigation, bombshell expose, ESPN cites more than 70 former and current employees of the NBA franchise, the Phoenix Suns, detailing how Robert Sarver, the team's majority owner, fosters a problematic workplace with claims of racism, misogyny, retaliation, and more. It appears these very very serious allegations. If the commissioner comes in and investigates to see what the expletive is going on in Phoenix, he would be appalled. May have been put on the back burner, at least publicly. Thus, the Reverend Al Sharpton has decided it is all hands on deck time. You merging on a SPAC or are you lining up a hooker over there? What are you doing? The environment within the Phoenix Suns was troublesome, according to Baxter Holmes's investigative piece. Sharpton, a fighter for civil rights and social justice for decades, has officially join the fight to bring Sarver's problematic ways back to center. The owner of the Suns was revealed in the ESPN story last November how Sarver, the principal owner of the Suns, made all these racist and misogynistic statements, and the NBA said they were going to investigate it, Sharpton said, at the New York City headquarters for the National Action Network, a civil rights organization he founded in 91. Well, how long does it take for an investigation when you have videos and people that come forward? I put the call in Friday to the NBA that we want them to close the investigation and remove move Sarver or tell us the timetable by the convention. There was a section about uh, a player who was shaving his legs and that prompted Robert to unprovoked talk about him shaving his uh, testicle area, his scrotum. And, uh, you know, I was there for that. I witnessed that conversation happening. Some of the following allegations go as follows per Baxter Holmes at the Worldwide Leader. One son's co-owner, a co-owner, said of Sarver, the level of misogyny and racism is beyond the pale. It's embarrassing as an owner. One former staffer who is a woman told the ESPN, women have very little value. Women are possessions, and I think we're nowhere close to where he thinks men are. An ex-marketing female employee said Sarver would frequently use language such as, Do I own you? Are you one of mine? He makes you feel like you belong to him, the employee said. Sarver is accused of using the N-word, what Business Insider calls numerous times. According to the report, Sarver pulled the typical white racist talking point of, well, black people say the N-word. Why can't I? Former head coach Earl Watson spoke on it with ESPN. A former Suns executive also told ESPN that in 2013, Sarver vouched for hiring Lindsey Hunter, who was black, as a head coach by saying these N-words need a N-word. Sarver has denied these allegations. The problem is it's a lot of he said, she said. Sharpton went on, we are not going to allow people to affect the culture of the NFL or the NBA and insult us and act like that's acceptable behavior. They think because it was November, everybody forgets about it, and that's why we wanted to put the pressure on. So we are on the Phoenix Suns. NBA spokesman Mike Bass told ESPN on Saturday the investigation is ongoing and will take the time necessary to complete a thorough and comprehensive review of the matter. It was reported on March 4th Sarver was set to be interviewed as part of the NBA's investigation into him and his team. Per Holmes, the man who worked on the investigative piece for more than a year, over 300 people have been interviewed, which launched in November. Like many in the world of sports, Sarver is a conservative business owner. He has donated, per the ringer, $220,400 to politicians with $179,400 going to Republicans. The two Dem donations were to a pair of lawmakers that unfortunately are a familiar household name. They are two people who cosplay as Democrats, Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin. Sarver also donated $25,000 to Defend Arizona, a super PAC aligned with Martha McSally. During the race, Defend Arizona distributed an 
anti-cinema mailer claiming she wouldn't keep people safe. The front of the mailer looked like a photo of Phoenix until it was tilted in a certain direction, at which point the hologram shifted to a mushroom cloud. In an email, a Suns spokesperson said that since 2004, Suns charities have given more than $30 million, blah, 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 the usual philanthropy talking point of billionaires. Sarver has also faced accusations of bribery in the Phoenix area. AC Central wrote Phoenix Councilman Sal DeCicio has denied being offered a bribe to support spending taxpayer dollars on the $230 million renovation project of Talking Stick Resort Arena. That came after former Suns GM Ryan McDonough hinted in a tweet to CCO and possibly other council members somehow accepted money from the NBA franchise before later clarifying he was not suggesting a bribe was involved. That came after a series of tweets from the councilman blasting NBA players for boycotting games to protest racial injustice. The city is spending $150 million on the project to renovate Talking Stick Resort Arena while the Suns are paying $80 million. Suns team owner, Sarver, denies any bribe was paid to DeCicio. There was a campaign donation made by me in October 2014 and others who worked for the Suns, he said. Obviously, we make donations to candidates who run for office. DeCicio, who represents District 6 as a councilman, notably as we just told you, called NBA players protesting police brutality systemic racism, and boycotting games over the shooting of Jacob Blake at the time, quote, whiny B-words. Is it possible that the NBA will force him to sell his team? That is what everybody is asking. To force an owner to sell, that has not happened in basketball since Donald Sterling. Amin Hassan speaking with BNC News once more, goes over why the removal of Robert Sarver from the National Basketball Association is fairly unlikely. The way this works, Mark, is there are 29 other owners on the Board of Governors uh, it, you know, meeting. They've got to vote him out if they want him out. And so as long as his standing is okay enough with his peers, the other owners, the other managing partners of the NBA teams, it doesn't matter how outraged we get. Uh, it, nothing's going to happen because at the end of the day, yeah. Mark, and I want all the viewers to know this, they all have skeletons. Right, like the the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder ownership group funded anti-gay legislation in California. The DeVos family down in Orlando has right. also done similar things. So this idea that oh, one of us did something like this, no, we got to get him out of here. That also opens the door for us to turn around and snoop around in everyone's laundry and say, what about this thing that you did, which also wasn't that well hidden. We are profoundly disturbed by the reports of racism, misogyny, and abusive behavior allegedly committed by Phoenix Suns majority owner Robert Sarver. The letter from the 10-person group, which announced itself as the American Sports Accountability Project, said there's zero tolerance for such behavior in today's society and we expect the nba and its leadership to hold mr sarver accountable for these despicable actions as was done in the case of donald sterling sharpton was part of a delegation that met with silver in 2014 and pushed for a quick resolution regarding the investigation into sterling the former clippers owner who was banned from the league for racist comments that emerged from a recorded conversation the american sports accountability project or asap also launched a website and a social media hashtag in their campaign, Sack Sarver.